Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangasani and here I'm going to talk about the last approach to reduce the computational time for explicit models. Before starting, I just wanted to point it out that you, if you're seeing this video for first time, you might need to go to our website and download the, uh, the previous video to understand this. It's completely free and you can easily download it. In previous videos, we talk about the most important approaches such as decreasing the processing time and increasing the increment time. And these approaches are divided in four categories, which are mass scaling, step time, element size. And here we're going to talk about the approaches that are related to a specific models. So stay tuned. We need to, uh, to check four modules in our model. The modules are material properties, assembly, step time, and number of elements. For material properties, we might need to check the plastic, plastic region. In some models, we don't need to define the plastic region for our model. For assembly, we might need to reduce the unnecessary spaces. We are going to talk about it in, in next slide. And based on the model, we might need to reduce the step time. It's different from the third, uh, from the previous approach that we talked about in our earlier videos. And also we can reduce the number of elements in unnecessary places. And also we can use the reduce integration option for our, for our model. For our model, for our model, I'm going to reduce the space between the punch and the plate. As you can see here, because of that, we can reduce the step time, which, and also we, I'm gonna use the option reduce integration for our elements. And by applying these, we're gonna reduce the computational time from 25 to 50%. And now we can go to the abacus. This is a model and you already should be able to download it from our website. First, we go to the properties as we discussed in our PowerPoint file. In here, you can see that it's already defined the plastic region. We already checked this and we need the defined plastic region. So in our model, we cannot remove it. But in some models that you are 100% sure that we're not going to see the plastic region, you can remove this and it can slightly reduce the computational time, but it's, it's not going to make a huge difference. In assembly, it is very important to reduce this unnecessary spaces. For example, in our model, if we look at it from this view, you can see that there is huge space between the punch and the plate. So it, it takes time to for the punch to reach the plate and then deform the plate. So we can reduce this by checking this. Um, I'm going to move it from 0 to 4 or 5. As you can see, still there is a space. It's good, but it's uh, less than before. And because of that, we can reduce the step time. So if you go here in load modulus, you see that the displacement is about four centimeter. So we want to move for about four centimeter by changing this value. We also would be able to change the step time as well to have the same speed for the punch. This value should be three five and now for a step we can change it to 44 35 7 and now you can see by reducing the this space we already reduce the computational time about 10 percent because the increment time is constant just to make sure we're not gonna use mass scaling option for this model so i'm gonna check this one and say okay next we can go to a mesh we already talked about the element size and how important is they are but as we discussed earlier we can reduce the number of elements for unnecessary places for example here we can reduce it to three and hit the down bottom and now you can see the element distribution are, is good, but there is another important factor that we can consider, which is the element formulation. For this region that are not important for us, we can change the element formulation. So here you can see this like explicit 3D and linear, but we also we can use the reduce integration option. This box causes to reduce the integration point from four to one, which makes the model 
four times faster to solve theoretically it also reduced the accuracy of model so we can apply this option for the region which are not important for example this bar but for here that we have large deformation and we need to have more accuracy we need to consider it without reduce integration option so i think everything's fine now we can and now we can run the model i'm not gonna run the model but i already done this and it showed me that it reduced the computational time about 35 percent uh, which is great but i'm you can run it for your own i'm gonna create the model i'm just i'm gonna give you the imp5 model so you can you would be able to use it and i also i'm gonna save this one i think everything's fine now i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, until the next video bye